So in the last video from Shane Dawson, The Truth About Jeffree Star, we dive into Jeffree Star's past and we learn about his depression as well as his anger issues, and some of those anger issues still linger around. But in this video, we're gonna talk about the link between depression and anger, so make sure that you stay tuned. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you are new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. So I try to look at things from pop culture and things like that and see what lessons that we can learn from it and take from it and improve our own mental health. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure that you subscribe, hit that notification bell if you would like to, because I have almost 400 mental health videos on my channel. But anyways, so some of you uh, saw my video yesterday where I talked about Jeffree Star opening up about his history with depression and self-harm. But something that we need to address, because this is a major issue with mental health, is the link between depression and anger, and it's something that I can really relate to when it comes to my past issues with both depression and anger. So, real quick, if you are here because you think I'm gonna talk about the controversial things that he says, and has he changed and all that, I'm not gonna touch that with a 10-foot pole, so don't even bother, all right? But I do just wanna focus on, you know, his depression as well as his anger, and hopefully explain it a little bit better, and help people maybe have some empathy, and if not empathy, just some understanding. Like, if any of you wanna check out my video I did about Kanye West um, and coming out that he's bipolar, like, it might be a reason, but it's not an excuse. We have to take responsibility for our mental health issues and do something about it, okay? So, our anger, you know, even though we're gonna talk about it, like, it, it's not something that we can justify when we're, when we're causing harm to ourselves as well as other people. But anyways, one of the scenes that stood out to me was Jeffree Star getting harassed on the street and just losing it. Bye, f it. What, why the f you call me Get back here, f you. So like, it, it sucks because you can never make an apology that's gonna be justified, right? That, like, there's, you're gonna have your diehard fans who are gonna be like, oh, he's changed, he's changed, he's changed. But it's really hard, like, even if you explain it, it's hard to get people on your side. And like, I'm just very fortunate that I'm a very small YouTuber and not blown up, so everybody's like, oh, what about this? Like, I'm very grateful for that. But like, Jeffree Star, he talks about it. He talks about his past, he talks about his struggles with depression. Like, he talks about being the outcast in school and getting picked on and bullied, and he's been beaten up and jumped and everything like that. And like this led to his depression, this led to his self-harm, but this also led to his anger issues. So what we're gonna do real quick is we're gonna talk about the brain. And right now you're like, dang, I came to a Jeffree Star video and you're gonna be talking about neuroscience? Heck yes I am, because that's how we roll here at The Rewired Soul. All right, so the two parts of the brain that we're gonna focus on is something called the amygdala and something called the hippocampus, all right? So the hippocampus is a part of your brain that stores all of your memories, all right? And this is closely bound to the amygdala. Your amygdala, that is your most primitive, primal instincts, okay? This is responsible for what we call the fight, flight, or freeze response, all right? So when we feel threatened, Okay, when we feel threatened, we go into one of three modes. So first, the first mode that we can go into is the freeze response. This was important for our ancestors to freeze because when predators are out there trying to get you, the best thing that you can do is just stop, all right? Because they, you know, they, they might attack if they sense movement. So some of us freeze. So when you get attacked, when somebody comes at you, you might just freeze up. Okay, so the next response is flight, all right? So if freezing isn't a good idea, if you're just gonna stand there and just not do anything, sometimes this doesn't work. Look at modern times. If somebody comes up and talks to you, like we're not running away from like bears and saber-toothed tigers, stuff like that anymore, like it might be the best thing to do for us to just book it and leave, right? We might run away from it. Now running away from it, you know, back then it was running away from a predator, maybe today is running away from, you know, somebody who might intend to do you harm. We might withdraw, that might be our flight response, is withdrawing from a situation, getting off of social media when we feel threatened or our emotions are out of control and we're feeling 
feeling sad or lonely or depressed or attacked or whatever. So that might be the way that our flight works. But for other people, when this part of the brain, when the amygdala is triggered, we get into fight mode, all right? So the amygdala is a very emotional part of the brain. This is where all of your emotions come from, your anxiety, your depression, your anger, all of these things come from the amygdala. So what we're seeing with Jeffree Star is, because of his past, because of getting bullied, because of getting picked on, because of you know all of the slurs he's been called, when people attack him, he does not go into freeze or flight mode, he goes into attack mode, okay? So this is the way that his depression is linked to his anger, and this is something that I dealt with my entire life, and it's, it's why I work on anger management so, so, so much. Like, all of you are meeting the best version of me today, but years ago, I was a very angry person because, you know, I was bullied, I was picked on, I didn't have a family like other people did, I didn't have money like other people did who I grew up around, and I would get picked on and stuff, and, you know, my fight response, I was just, you know, venomous with my words. That's what I would do. And so when I see Jeffrey getting shouted at, these slurs that I can't even imagine, right? Someone saying that to me, like he gets into that fight mode, you know? And and that's one of the things that we, we just don't really understand. We see these people as angry people and stuff like that. But I made a video a while back and I'll link it up in the info card and it's called Hurt People Hurt People. And the lesson I wanted to teach from that video was like when I get attacked, when I get attacked, on my platform, whether it's YouTube or Instagram or Twitter or Facebook or whatever it is, like I pause and I'm like, man, this person's probably hurt. Because for most of us, we just see that angry response and we don't think about what's this person going through? Did they have a troubled childhood? Did something bad happen to them? You know what I mean? And it's hard for us because our reaction is to get on the defense and say, oh my God, I can't believe, you know, you're so angry, but we all have different responses to this, you know, and like some of them are better than others. But like at the end of the day, you know, Jeffrey definitely, definitely has the money and resources to seek help. He's, he can seek help and work on his anger management. And I'm not like, you know, huge into the Jeffree Star drama. Um, I hear a little bit here and there, my girlfriend, she loves him. And you know, he's a he's a good dude, but you know, I, I've, I, I've seen things about, you know, how he doesn't have many friends anymore and you know, the backstabbing and the controversies and things like that. And the reason why I personally work on my anger is because I saw that my anger issues and my unwillingness to forgive and even empathize with other people and think maybe they're going through some stuff too and you know get uh more like or shall i say less self-centered and just only think about me how you affected me what you're doing is affecting me and me 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 like it was hurting my relationships and then i was very very alone so now that i work on my anger and i don't lash out as much even though you know i had a troubled past and i struggle with depression i have to work on my anger or i will not build the connections that i must build in order to have mental health you know what i'm saying so so i'm glad we got to see this and i i just like to point this stuff out so hopefully you can kind of identify these things and saying like is your depression turning into anger i've done other videos about how my anxiety can turn into anger like we need to address these things and start working on that stuff so we don't lash out as much and cause so much drama or controversy even though you're not a jeffree star like how is this affecting your family life how is this affecting your work life how is this affecting your life with your friends with your children and all that kind of stuff all right so we need a little bit more compassion we need to start working on our mental health and this world will be a much better place i promise you all right but do me a favor, leave some comments below. Let me know if any of your mental health issues like turn into anger. Um, something else that we can discuss about in the, in the comments is how that depression turns into anger, which then turns into guilt because we feel bad about what we did. All right, let's have a conversation down in the comments below. But anyways, that's all I got for you today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I don't know what you're waiting for because I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental health. Click that little round subscribe button and a huge Huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. And if you wanna check out some more videos on my channel, you can click or tap on one of those thumbnails right there, all right? So thanks so much for watching. Get your anger under control today, and I'll see you next time.